A couple years ago, we launched the Big Screen Beyond One, and we also did a teardown video showing off the internals of the design and how we built the world's smallest VR headset. Today, we're gonna to do a teardown of Big Screen Beyond Two and show you some of the interesting engineering decisions, new features like adjustable IPD, eye tracking, and how we managed to magically reduce the weight down to just 107 grams. So, let's get right into the teardown. All you will need to get into the Big Screen Beyond 2 is a single Torx T6 screwdriver. We can start by taking off the cushion support plate on the back, next to the eye modules. There are eight screws to remove in total, four corners and then four in the middle. For those who watched the Beyond 1 teardown, much of this is the same exact process. And here we can see the eye modules. Behind them, you can even see all new IPD adjustment markings that are on both sides of the eye modules. You might want to take a moment just to show what happens as you adjust the IPD. So do for the Beyond 2, there are two tiny little holes, one on each side, and this handy little IPD adjustment screwdriver. This slots in right here. And as you twist it, the entire eye module will slide back and forth. At this point, let's flip it over and take off the six screws that are holding down the outer shell. It's pretty easy to swap the cover shell yourself. However, you'll want to be careful because it exposes a lot of sensitive electronics. Now we're ready to take off the cover shell. There are three screws holding down the tracking flex assembly. The tracking flex contains the photodiodes that are used for Steam VR tracking. With the three screws removed, you can lift the tracking flex assembly off, exposing this ribbon cable going down to the main board. There's a small connector that you can pop off either with a fingernail or a plastic prying tool. Our tracking flex has 22 photodiodes to receive the laser hits from the Steam VR tracking lighthouses. We also have our two microphones on this flex here. Now we can see the main board of the big screen beyond too. There are a few more connectors to remove before we can pull this board out. We have a fan connector, two USB-C connectors, one on each side. We have our display flexes and all new for the big screen beyond 2E, our eye tracking flexes. You can again use your fingernail or a plastic prying tool. The eye tracking flexes have a small black lever right behind them. If you just flip that up, you can now pull out that flex cable. Do it for both sides. With those removed, you can now get to the display connectors. They also have a small black lever to flip up. And they pop out fairly easily. You can use tweezers if you want to, but I just give them a gentle tug and out they come. Now you're left with the left and right USB-C connectors the proximity sensor connector, and the fan connector. These can be popped out with your fingers as well, or a plastic pry tool. For the USB-C connectors, I try to get just under the lip so I don't damage anything underneath. And now the main board's ready to come out. There are two screws holding it in, in the upper corners. Let's talk about the board-to-board -board connectors. Sure. These board-to-board -board connectors are all new for the Big Screen Beyond 2. They're more robust than they were in the Big Screen Beyond 1, and they have better EMI shielding. 
now there's a metal shielding that goes all the way around the connector, which is important as we have high speed signals going through here. On this connector, we have DisplayPort and USB 2.0. On this side, we have USB 2.0 only. The very last thing to do before we take out the board, there are two EMI shielding tapes just underneath the display flexes here. I usually take a pair of tweezers, just get underneath on the edge and pull up with a twisting motion. Once you get a little bit more of it off, it comes off pretty easily. All right, and with those off, out comes our board. On the top, we have the Big Screen Beyond 2 new board. On the bottom, this is the original Beyond main board. You'll notice right in the middle, we have a new component here. This is our small but powerful FPGA that we use for eye tracking. On either side of that FPGA are the eye tracking flex connectors that are connected straight to it. On the back side of the board, there are some changes that are not quite so visible. So these red chips are the antennas for controller tracking. They connect to your SteamVR compatible controllers. While they look the same from the original Beyond to the Beyond 2, in the Beyond 2, we now synchronize the two antennas. This improves controller performance for the few people that did have issues before. Now you should have flawless controller performance. Next, we can remove the clips that are holding the USB-C connectors in place. There's one screw on each side. We can also gently remove the grounding clips. These metal clips help against electrostatic damage. Next, we can remove these very thin stickers covering the, the foam next to the eye module flexes. The stickers keep the foam in place while the IPD is adjusted. The next step is to remove the four screws behind the heat sinks that are just behind the two eye modules. There's a metal washer and a silicone washer underneath each screw, so be careful to catch them as you pull out the screws. The heat sinks are all new design for the Big Screen Beyond 2. They have improved thermal performance compared to the Big Screen Beyond, and they're designed to hold the optics in place as they slide back and forth as you adjust the IPD. To remove them, we'll take our pry tool and come in from the outside and just pop it up from underneath. Just pull that right out. There's a thermal pad on the back. And the same thing for the other side. And now the eye modules can be pushed straight through. Be careful as you push the eye tracking and display flex through the slot as you don't want them to get snagged. And these are the two optical modules. This contains much of the research and development and advanced technologies that are powering Beyond 2. Our new optics has 116 degree diagonal field of view, improved edge to edge clarity, a huge sweet spot, and better optical performance for chromatic aberration, ghost images, and even brightness. You'll also notice eye tracking on the outside ring of the optical module. We don't recommend tearing down the eye tracking module. It's really tiny with a lot of sensitive electronics on the inside. However, we'll show you some of the interesting components on the inside in this video. So here in front of you, I have both the full eye tracking module disconnected from the lens assembly. This contains the camera and the illumination infrared LEDs. And in my other hand, I have the bare flex without the plastic parts on top of it. You can really take a look at just how tiny that camera is. Right smack in the middle of it, you can see a white dot. And that's the image sensor. It's around the size of a grain of sand. Surrounding the camera body, you'll see a series of tiny capacitors, which are used to filter the power going to the camera itself. And then off to each side are the tiny infrared LED illuminators. We've implemented eye tracking in an open manner, so developers can pick up the raw camera feeds using standard APIs. Eye tracking today works in social VR applications like VRChat to increase the expressiveness of your avatars. 
We're also working on advanced features like foveated rendering for sim racing and other performance intensive applications. More on that soon. And that's the Big Screen Beyond 2. We've shown you the internal components, the new circuit boards, adjustable IPD and eye tracking, as well as our breakthrough new optics. And the teardown really shows one of our core design philosophies. Every gram matters. We managed to add a whole lot of new features while still reducing the weight. Inside the Beyond, you'll notice that there are no adhesives. Everything is connected with a screw. It's intentionally made easy to mod and repair. Thanks for watching. If you haven't pre-ordered yet, you can order your Beyond 2 on our website, bigstreamvr.com. In the next couple of weeks, we're going to start shipping Beyond 2 to customers around the world. We think you're going to love it, and I can't wait for you to get it in your own hands.